was it very clear at I didn't at that an party? Yet. Oh, no. But you were you was that the only thing you said as part of your proposal, or? Well, we we, we discussed other aspects. Wait, 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 wait. He wants to know if you told me anything how wonderful I was. How much you loved me and how much you wanted me. So why don't you tell him this is for posterity? You're missing a moment. Thank you. She was truly one of the most fascinating, delightful, intelligent, and charming women I had ever met in my life. And, and I was just totally overwhelmed by her. You know, to be in her presence was and at what point did you decide that uh, it was time to uh, to get to get engaged? I'm not gonna try it. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. I felt it was just a logical progression. I mean, if you really truly love someone, and you feel that this is the one you want to be as a life partner, you say, "Will you marry me?" But you guys were probably seeing each other a couple times a week, or how often at that point? About uh, once or twice a week. And you thought, but did you plan that this is the party where this is going to happen? Did you have, or did you were taken by the moment? I was more or less taken by the moment. I think. Something about the <laughs> smell of the trash can. <laughs> trash. Oh, the garden. The aroma. The aroma. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what, how did you respond? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> When somebody you, says, I'm hope? willing to give all this up for you. That's sweet. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I smiled. <laughs> that still isn't a proposal. He's never quite proposed to me. <laughs> never. Did he get out on his knee and say, will you marry me? Yes. You know, I was wondering, like, what do you think you're doing for, like, the next uh, 40 or 50 years? What do you mean? I wasn't too sure because he never asked me a question about me, and I felt she got, yeah, she got there annoyed. were... I remember one time we were walking in Beverly Hills and she got very annoyed at me. She said, why don't you ever ask me about myself? I felt that it's not a good way to start by not having any I mean, I questioned him, but he didn't question me. I will end, don't ask, don't tell. That's my commitment to you. I knew he was a good person and he was kind and I liked his brain. He was very intelligent and uh, I enjoyed that. And um, he always has made me feel that I'm a very special person. Oh, that's very right. special. You are. That's no, it's, uh, it's, I had not had that kind of a background and there was unconditional love. Uh, it's always been that way. So when did you decide to say yes to this unconditional love? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember when I said yes. When did I say yes? I don't remember. Oh, I, I, <laughs> have you said yes yet? Oh, it was, it was at the wedding. <laughs> at the wedding, she said I, I do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her at the bank. We remember that she is the only face-to-face -face contact many of our customers have with the company. This man got to know me very well, and he would come in every day, and I would cash his check. And then one time he came in with a check, and I didn't go check his. It was no computers. Yeah. And what happened is that he had gotten established a relationship, and he knew I would. Uh. And, Anyway, the bank was out money. Wow. No doubt about it. He enjoyed doing business with her. And so they said, well, you're fired. Oh. And I was so struck. Wait, wait, wait before uh, Donald Trump ever thought about it. <laughs> you're fired. Before that, they had said they can't let me get married because they need me, they love me, they miss yeah. me. Anyway. Their love they, was not unconditional. <laughs> uh, their love was not unconditional. And then when Dad found out about that, he said, why don't we, we get married in June? 
She made herself the most beautiful wedding dress. And then of course Grandma Rose came. From where? <laughs> where was she from? New York. From uh -huh. Brooklyn. And decided I wasn't good enough for Papa Mike. And uh, she made his life pretty miserable. Yeah. She made my life pretty miserable. <laughs> and um, I said to Dad, anytime you want to get out of it, get out of it. It's okay. And I said, no way. The Grand Honeymoon. We went to uh, Las yeah. Vegas to a motel that had not finished being built. And there wasn't even a swimming pool. And it was, it was just like one bad thing after we another. We stayed there for about two days, and then we said, let's, let's, this is ridiculous. And we went across the street to the doom. Hello, Las Vegas! Yes, Las Vegas! There's a tremendous guy standing there like, like the Colossus of Rhodes. The first night, I passed out. Hmm. It was the second night. Second night? Yeah. So you had more fun the first night? <laughs>